Today I'm going to show you a little demo on the Garmin Flightstream 510. This SD card actually has a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip on board. So you can use it actually like an SD card where you're plugging it into your PC, loading databases, and putting it back into your navigator. But, when it, but with this Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip, it allows some really interesting features. So the first thing I'll demonstrate is the database update feature of the Flightstream 510. When you first boot up your GTN Navigator, whether it's a 750 or a 650, it'll give you a message here, connect to the Flightstream Wi-Fi network. To do that, you go over to your iPad or iPhone or Android or whatever you're using, and you have to go to the Wi-Fi section and connect to the Flightstream 510. So I'll do that right here on this iPad. Now that it's connected, I get a message. It says, connected to portable device, open Garmin Pilot. So on my iPad, I'll bring up Garmin Pilot. And the transfer should, well, the actual transfer is not going to happen automatically, but you can see right here that this navigation database was found. To begin the update, we hit the start button on the GTN 750. As you can see, the database transfer is in progress. It's complete. And it's simple as that to do the uh, database transfer. And if you have anything else, like a Garmin G500 connected, the, uh, the databases will transfer uh, from the 750 to the, uh, to the flight deck. The other big feature of the Flightstream 510 is the flight plan transfer. You could transfer back and forth from a uh, mobile device to the GTN Navigator or from the GTN to the mobile device. So I'll show you, I'll choose a flight plan. Um, I'll choose, I'll go to my catalog and just bring up a short flight plan and activate it. So when it's loaded up in the 750, you can see I get a, automatically get a message, receive flight plan update where I can ignore or activate. So I will activate and all the the uh, Flightstream 510 transfers the flight plan from the 750 to the iDevice. Now I'll add another waypoint here. So I now have a different flight plan on my iPad and I want to transfer it over the GTN 750 so we're going the other direction. I hit the connect button and we'll send to the GTN 750. So I get a message indicator on the 750. Hit the 750, it says a flight plan is import. I can hit this, it tells me what is going to be imported and I can either store it or activate it or you know go back out and do nothing. So I'll activate it. Replace current active route, okay. So now that other point that I initially added in the iPad is now in the GTN 750. So that's how the flight plan transfers work back and forth between a uh, iPad or a mobile device and the GTN 750. The other thing the GTN, uh, the Flightstream 510 can provide is AHARS information. If you have an AHARS source, right now I'm not flying so I don't have any attitude information. Um, but I have the G500 and it, the Flightstream 510 will take the G500 AHARS information and put it over here on my iPad. The one last item that the Flightstream 510 can do is if you have a uh, ADS-B source like a GTX 345 or a GDL88, when paired with either of those products, the ADS-B traffic and uh, the FISB weather can be displayed via Bluetooth on your mobile device as well.